falling in love with who I am. It may be hard to understand. Two, two, two at the handle. Some power or destroy me now. Just had a consultation. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Join me as I pick these beans. <clears throat> Sometimes, yeah, when I'm cooking, I like to call my friends or my sisters on video call so they can join me. Because sometimes it's just boring cooking by yourself or doing dishes by yourself. So I call and I do all of this with them. But right now, I have you guys with me. You guys are my company right now. Because I'm doing it. I'm talking to you guys. One thing I hate to do is pick beans. And please ignore the mess behind. Everything is a mess. I'm gonna clean up later. I want to make beans and plantain. Anything, picking beans, washing beans, anything beans. I like beans, but I don't like the work that comes with it. So, where do I begin? I don't want to begin this vlog with all of us. I'm probably going to do my makeup and do the intro but yeah what have i been up to a lot actually i've been I've, i'm just my life my routine has changed it hasn't changed it's, it's the same since i started working full-time but i think i just got sucked in into this uk work life routine so I am um, just going to work, coming back home, going to work, coming back home, birthday celebrations, I go out, we get that done, I'm back home again, kids, school run, cooking, that's basically the cycle. I don't have, it's not like Nigeria that somebody is getting married this weekend, I'll go for a wedding, I'll go see my auntie or... Oh, yeah, I did go see my auntie in Manchester the other time. Um, That was fun. Oh, that was so much fun, by the way. It was just, it's just nice having to do something different. It wasn't planned. <clears throat> it wasn't like pre-planned, like, okay. It was like, okay, we might do this. Let's see how it goes. And then it came up and then we did it. I had a really nice time. We went to the spa. We used the pool, went into the sauna, had a steam bath, had a cold bath. Then there's this hydro, what do you call it? Hydro something pool, but it's not like a pool. It's like a, it's like a bath, a bathtub. No, it's like, it's like, I don't know what's called hydro something. If I find it, I'll put it in the, on the screen. It just is like it's a mixture of hot water and cold water and then the water runs so fast and from a tap that you can just stay there and like have your back against it and it hits your back so it's like it's giving you a massage at the same time i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i did that that was so refreshing because i've not had something like that since i had my child when i say child not I feel like if I have a few viewers here who don't know me when I had my second baby so let me put it that way so you don't think what's they are talking about I feel like I'm out of reading I don't know what I'm saying I've not done this in a while that is what happens when you leave YouTube for a long time so yeah I did that that was so fun and then reuniting with my aunties it was so fun I felt like I was back home I did that and then I had a birthday party. It was my birthday, it was my husband's birthday before my birthday. He doesn't do anything, he doesn't like to do anything, so he didn't really do anything. I think we just ordered in um had some food at the house. And that was it. Then my birthday, I like to do stuff. I think my birthday is very serious. I enjoy celebrating my birthdays. 
over the years i've not really done much when it comes to my birthday it's just because you know sometimes unconsciously whoever you're with rubs off on you so i think he rubbed off on me a bit so i wasn't so over the years i've not been like excited or anything to do or celebrate my birthday so i'll probably like just sit in with the girls have some food but this year I'm like nah <clears throat> nah we ain't doing that nah we ain't doing that we're going out <laughs> so we went out it was a good time i had a really nice time actually you know with the work and stress of the uk sometimes when you do all those things sorts of it sort of refreshes you and to be honest i felt refreshed so we did that what else have i been up to you know i'm gonna finish picking these things finish cooking and then give you guys a full breakdown Hello, hello, hello. But anyway, I made this hair. I'm going to insert her. I don't know if she has an Instagram page, but if you're in Leicester, if you're in um, what's it called? If you're in Leicester, if you're in the Midlands, if you're in Derby, if you're in Birmingham, if you're in Nottingham, if you're in even Manchester, no, there, there are lots of places where you can pray in Manchester. You don't need to travel all the way. But like, if you're around, this girl is really good. I don't know if she has, a, has an Instagram page, but if she does, I'll put her Instagram page. And then you can contact her there. But the girl, she no get sense. <laughs> Not in an insulting way, but she hardly puts her work out on her Instagram page. I've told her to put it, but she rarely does. But she's really good, guys. Trust me. Look at the hair. Can you see the lines? Can you see the cutting? Can you see how neat it is? Can you see? And she's really fast. She's really fast, guys. You guys check her out. So I went out today, I just tried on some lip stains. I got a few things, got a Friday gift for a friend, got some makeup products. It's one of the nice things to buy makeup products when you don't use your money. So it's not like I use someone else's money. I got them on hard points. So it's still my money, but not my money. You know when you spend stuff and then you put it on your card? like the company card for instance loyalty card that's what's called you put it on the loyalty card you get you get points just looking at my lips just now you get points here yeah? so my points built up that i didn't need to pay so i paid with my points even though it's my money that i'd spent before you get what i mean but it was that nice i didn't bring that money today so it's good what else did i do um oh and then i went for a consultation i went for a laser consultation now the thing about this it was actually for hair removal face hair removal so these days ladies are beginning to become men <laughs> become men in their own their what they call it now in terms of behavior in terms of responsibilities and now even physically because Women are not beginning to have facial hair. Now, mothers did have it, but most of them had it in their like, 40s, 50s. But these days, even girls of 19, 20 are beginning to have facial hair. Like, it's a big thing. And for me now, in my 30s, I'm beginning to have... My 30s? Mm, sounds mature. I'm beginning to have facial hair. So I went for a consultation. Sorry, guys. I'll be, you'll be hearing a lot of me in this space, and it's going to be echoing a lot. I'm sorry about the sound. I ordered for microphone. It's still not here. So, um, how did it? How did it go? It went well. 
when I got in there, I got tempted to even want to ask about acne and facial scarring and all of those things. It sounded nice when I was asking, but when I got the view. But about the facial hair, so I wanted to go ahead with the facial hair, the laser laser hair removal. I wanted to go ahead with it, but apparently you need to be like three months in the UK before you can be on the monthly payment plan. Because obviously I'm not going to spare everything at once. So I was hoping I would get like the monthly payment plan. But because I'm not three years yet in the country, I couldn't be on the plan. So that flopped. There are other payment plans, but that would mean that I'm either paying three months or um or I'm paying outright. And outright doesn't make any sense. It's not financially sensible for me to do that. And then paying a three months plan is still not I could actually do that one. Still not sensible because I have other bills. But yeah, so I guess I have to wait a couple of more months and manage my facial hair for now. I noticed one strand around my chest. Um, one strand. I don't know what this all of a sudden is. Is it, is it the things that we're eating? Is it the sausages? Is it the preservatives? But yeah, so I'll um, get on that later. What else? If you guys like my top, by the way, I got it from my friend. I didn't get it from my friend. My friend gifted it to me. Looks really sophisticated. Oh, I can pull this down. There's something in here that I can pull down. Cute, yeah? It's really cute. It looks like formal, but like when you want to get to know it, sexy formal, or like classic form. Let me put you guys on some of the toiletries I use for my kids. I think saying it is nice, but showing you guys, because if you're new or if you're a new mommy here in the UK, you might also need some of this product. So my friend put me on and since I came up with using it. When my baby was little, I used, the, I used child farm. So she advised me, can you guys see? So she advised me to get child child's farm. Was what I was using for my baby when he was little. I was using the bath gel and the soap. No, not the soap. This is the soap. The bath gel and the lotion for him. But his, I feel like because we're Africans, if you're an African mommy or you're black skin, the the lotion doesn't do so well for you. For me, it didn't. So um, I just stopped choosing that, but the bad gel is lovely. Like it keeps their skin really nice. So I stuck to the bad gel and then I changed the lotion to cocoa butter. Cocoa butter now worked really well. Let me just bring the product up. So I got, I started using this Palmer's cocoa butter, which works really well for my daughter's skin and my son's skin as well. And then I use this one in the winter so i use this basically in summer and i use this in winter obviously i'm using this and i'm using sunscreen as well and then this i use in so what am i saying i mix them up basically because sometimes cocoa butter is good but i feel like <clears throat> sometimes it also leaves the skin a bit dry so i mix and match I'm, i use both of them if that makes any sense and it's been working well their skin has not like been drying out or cracking out and this is this one especially if you use just this you're fine but i like this one it's for sensitive skin and it moisturizes i don't know why i really like this cocoa butter formula but i've been using palmas for a while now but i just introduced vaseline just to help put like dryness in the winter yeah so that's basically it so these are the products i use for my kids if you want to try it try it for myself I use, so I've been struggling with finding like a bad gel or like a soap or detergent. Detergent. <laughs> Not detergent though, you can't use detergent on your skin. I've been struggling with finding like a soap, um, skincare routine. So what I've been able to find, I don't know if I've shown you guys what I use during the day and at night. This might be too much information, but I think I showed you. I did it in a different video, but let me bring you again. 
this is going to mess with the setting. Okay, so I use dental bar soap, and it's quite affordable. I don't spend so much on my skin. I use a dental bar soap. Dental, good for your skin. No, no, no. I use dental bar soap for my skin. When it comes to soap, antibacterial, it's not very expensive. It's actually really affordable. And then for my body, my body, like my skin, I use this one. I use it with the kids. And then when my skin is very dry, I use this one. I use it with the kids. I don't do too much on my skin. But what I've been doing too much, where I've been doing too much is my face. And that's because I have an acne prone skin. So <clears throat> initially I thought it was because I had implants. If you've seen my old videos about implants and why I took it out, I'll probably link them somewhere so you can go watch them or just put the link in the description box. If you're a mommy and you're trying to have like implants to stop you from getting pregnant, then you might want to watch that video because I panicked and I went and I got it. But apparently it didn't work well for me because I have like acne prone skin. So the implants sort of made it worse. So I had to go take them out. So now I've been working on my face. So on my face, I use products. Like I go extra on my face when it comes to skincare so i use how do i use it i usually mix and match but i'm trying to find one that works for the day and another for the night so ordinarily my night is my day and my day is my night i don't know if that makes sense so because i work my shifts my night time is my daytime and my daytime is my night time because my daytime i'm mostly in the house sleeping then my night time is when i'm out i'm active at work so for night time i use this acne wash acne to side wash for my face and then i apply the ac no you're not supposed to use both at the same time so I, sometimes i use the wash if i use the wash i just go ahead and use this one this is called the neutrogena clear and defend daily serum I use this one then because it's at night time I don't use sunscreen although they say you're supposed to use sunscreen to seven, but I don't see any sun the only light I see is the light at the office and it's mommy's light so I don't use but during the day I use this one this blemish control CeraVe and then I apply this on my face it's the same acne side, but this is the gel. This is a cream, and that's the wash. So I either use this, but if I've used the wash in one day, I don't use this anymore. So I just go ahead and use this one, and then I apply this sunscreen. I'm new to the sunscreen, but easily. And then I have a vitamin C serum that I use. I've I've used this one now for maybe <clears throat> probably since last year so probably over a year from the body shop this is one vitamin c serum that i can swear by in the sense that in as much as i have marks on my face it sort of brightens my skin gently brightens my skin so my skin is not my face is not like ridiculously brighter than my my body if that makes any sense so if you can see this is my hand and this is my face. You see this mark here? Ignore this one. I hope this one goes really soon because this one is pissing me off. But this is my face and this is my hand. So it's not ridiculously bright, but it is bright. This is not supposed to be a skincare thingy, but if you guys care for names and stuff, leave a comment down below. I can type it all out if I spoke too fast. But yeah, that's basically it. On my way out now to go pick my little man um so i guess i'm just gonna end this video here so sorry guys like i said from the intro a lot has been happening apparently i haven't been on top of life life has been on top of me pause <laughs> not literally if you get what i mean but i am back and i think because i've been vlogging like bits and pieces here and there it's not waiting for like a perfect like video and stuff i want to just upload this if you um if you haven't um 
Oh, I love them too. Also, thank you guys for supporting. And I've got a few comments, maybe not like on my videos, but like people that know me personally saying, oh, we haven't seen your videos in a while. Thank you guys for being patient. I'm going to just drop this one as tease. Um, please like, subscribe, comment if you haven't. I can see the little camera out there distracting me. <laughs> but I'm just going to post this one as a tease. Um, like I said, I've just been busy. Um, so I just took some time off. So I made a few um, videos here and there. So I'm just going to put it all together and put it out. Once I put it out, it will be official that I'm back back. But yeah, I am back back. I'm beginning to get like into the groove of things, understanding my routine now that my little one is in nursery. So I know I get a couple of hours when he's away to myself. And I'm finding that I'm actually liking certain things I used to like again, like YouTube videos, content creators I used to watch. I'm back to watching them. So I think that also inspired my coming back because um you know when you watch people that you look up to it motivates you to do it to do what you love because sometimes i see how busy their lives are, are probably more busy than mine some of them have three kids moving across country by themselves and still doing what they need to do that's adese's place and adese just moved to the uk so she's doing everything with her three kids by herself i have just two What's my excuse? I always say life is the excuse, but people find a way to get things done. And sometimes I want things done in a particular way, like almost perfect. And I know you can, it can never be perfect. So just, I'm just gonna make do what I have and put out what I have and um, hope you guys like it. Leave comments below. Don't call me to tell me stuff. Leave a comment, you know yourself. Leave a comment and yeah, you guys just bear with me. I'm hopefully going to remain consi consistent. That's the plan moving forward. So yeah, I'm back. If you got to this point of the video, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give the video a thumbs up, you know, it helps. I'm glad that I'm at over a thousand subscribers at the moment. I'm just trying to get my watch time up. I've seen some, I know some people that, you know, they probably just started in less than six months and they got their watch hours up. Some people have that grace, some don't. But I know I'll eventually get there. So you guys watching the video to the end of the video really helps. Don't just skip, watch it till the end and interact with the videos, like give it a like, it really helps. Yeah. I'm back guys, I'm happy to be back and I'm going to upload as much as I can and as it might be a bit chaotic here and there but please bear with me, I'm hopefully going to switch and do certain things that, upload certain things that I don't think are perfect but I'm just going to put it out there regardless. I think I'm talking too much, I'll just wrap it up, I need to get my little one now, I'm running late. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in my next video, bye!